find the algebraic representation of the semicircle graphed below. Don't be afraid of this term, algebraic representation. All it means is find the equation or the function that represents this particular lower semicircle or bottom semicircle. So we know it's a bottom semicircle because it's, it's, it's the bottom half. It's, it's got all these points have either a zero or a negative y coordinate associated with them. So it's the lower half of this semicircle. And let's recall that a bottom semicircle, bottom semicircle, this has the form y equals minus square root of r squared minus x squared. And this represents a bottom semicircle whose radius is r and whose center is the origin. Let's examine what, what the radius is of, of this lower or bottom semicircle. Here we've got, we've clearly got a center of, of zero and zero. So if we do this in orange here, this is, all, all these points are positioned around the origin. So we have got a center here and the radius is just the length of a line that connects the origin to any point on the circumference. We'll just call, we'll, we'll just choose this point since it's quite convenient. And this is two over three or two thirds. So here we have a bottom semicircle, bottom semicircle, and we have a radius, radius of two over three. And we also have a center of zero, zero. So it's definitely going to take this bottom semicircle form and we can write this equation, but instead of writing r, because up here, this is for a general semicircle whose radius is r, this is a specific semicircle whose radius is 2 thirds. So let's rewrite this equation, replacing r with 2 thirds. So we can write y equals negative. This is very important. This determines that it's a bottom semicircle. So negative 2 over 3, so 2 thirds, squared minus x squared. And we're almost there. In order to write it in final form, we just need to simplify this. Let's quickly consider what is 2 over 3 squared. Let's do it down the bottom here. So 2 thirds squared. Well, by our indice rules, when we have an indice applied to a fraction, we apply this to both the numerator and the denominator. So we can rewrite this as 2 squared over 3 squared. And then let's consider 2 squared is 4. 3 squared is 9. So 2 thirds squared is 4 over 9. So we can rewrite this expression as negative square root 4 over 9 minus x squared, which means the algebraic representation of the semicircle graphed is y equals minus square root 4 over 9 minus x squared. So whenever you face uh, a graph and you've got to try and find the algebraic representation of it, the best way to do it is to think of how a semicircle is defined and then substitute the specific radius for r in, in, uh, in the algebraic form of a general semicircle. And then you'll be done.